Metal Mike coming at you. I'm over in St. Paul and I stop by my favorite uh, junk thrift store. And uh, what I did is I scored a bunch of old toys. Now I spent $25. I'm going to show them to you now. Got a couple old puzzles. I'm going to lay that camera down there for one second and then we'll get to work. First I got these, uh, I got three what I feel to be somewhat old Mickey Mouse Club Walt Disney uh, puzzles in the plastic that someone saved. Now they could be from the 80s or they could be very early. They look very early to me. There's a nice lady in the tramp one. Then I got these nice lithographs right here of these pigs with Little Wayne written on the side there. I got my bag blown around that I got this stuff in. So Then what we got here, what I'll do is I'll put them in the, back in the bag one at a time. Got an American Flyer boxcar plastic. Not a lot of value there. A tiny little tank car. It looks like it's from um, Southern Pacific, so there's not a lot of value in that. That's that's modern, but it's in there and it was in the bag. So, second, a nice little coal car, plastic, decent, no brakes. A nice little tin Buddy L, Jeep. Another plastic uh, box car. A plastic caboose. A Lionel damaged boxcar, plastic. Another car, plastic. A Mark's car, plastic and tin. Pretty neat. Relic condition, though. Piece of a train. Another little piece of a tin train. Very early. Made in USA. Here's a nice old transformer. This is classic here. Pretty early. So we better not put that in the bag. That would probably crush the cars that we have. Nice old coal car, tin. Rusty. Nice little Jeep. Just a Tootsie Toll toy. It's crushed. Good for the flea market for a buck, maybe. Another little Tootsie Toy. Broken. No good. Fire engine. Tootsie Toy. Decent. Here's a tin car. This is okay. It's got rust and it's pitted, but it's got its sliding doors and it's not too bad. So maybe we can get something for that. A little Roadster Model A, Model T. Uh, plastic. Relic condition. Missing pieces, but still kind of a cool little piece. I like this. A nice tin red caboose. Can't go wrong. I don't see a name on it. American Flyer. Oh, missing a wheel, sadly. And this is probably the best train thing in there. I think Santa Fe Middle States Oil. Nice little oil uh, tanker. Then we got a relic condition foam Raggedy Ann. Dated 1968. Nice relic, right? Nice little train tower. Let's see who that is. It's a number 394 Lionel Beacon. I know that that's not worth a lot, but it's still decent. We got this. This is kind of decent. Bozo on the farm. Bozo Records. Pretty rough condition. Obviously the spine is ripped, but nice little pictures for framing and matting. Maybe the records are inside. Here's one more I got. Bozo at the dog show. Same situation. Rough and dirty, but funky with the records. You gotta love it. So someone could math those up if you're into the clown, or maybe they even just want it like that. And the last piece, a blow up punching bag of the romper room. So that's our score. I'll set all this stuff back in here. Hang with me there, guys. I spent 25 bucks for that. And what we'll do is we'll get home, we'll get those trains on eBay. I think those uh, pig lithographs could be something. And those puzzles could be something. You know it's always hit and miss, though. You just never know. So, Metal Mike, signing out. Always hunting, always picking. Hey, now.